everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm here reviewing AMAT and this is for an advanced trader. This was a very, very good trade that happened a couple of days ago and I wanted to review it so everyone can get an idea here what exactly I did. So if you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So if you decide that you want to trade, and do this as your job, as your career. The nice thing about GAPS is that you do not have to trade all day. Now, one of the other nice things is you can work from home. So usually we're done in the morning. Sometimes it's a late trade, but one of the reasons it's a really great job is because you can work from home and you're not even working eight hours a day. So let's take a look here at this AMAT. Really nice mover. Stock closed here the night before and gapped down. So you see here, what does that mean? It means it closed at one point of price at four o'clock and then it opened at a different price at 9.30. So it opened lower. And in this case here, it sold off. So this is a short. Okay, and actually this is a really big move. High in the day was like 38-ish and low actually was around 35 whatever. This is a big move for this. You can see all the previous bars in here, a nice move on AMAT. Now, what was the trade? Here you have the sell-off that happened into the open. Actually, this is a huge bar. So this is a 15 minute chart here we're looking at. This is a 15 minute chart of AMAT and this is the day that it fell off the planet. Here you can see where it closed. Here you can see where it gapped down. Here you can see the move. Actually here you see from 38 low and here was 37. So this was like a buck right into the open in the first 15 minutes of the day. Dropped, fell, pushed back. And then it was, this was a late trade. Uh, but again, it is what it is. And this is a day where everything was falling as well. But this was a gap. You could have shorted it here, you could have added in here, and then it broke and it fell. So this was the secondary move. So we ended up doing the secondary move, and it's not the first one, but you could have done them both, okay? Secondary move came down in here into 12 o'clock, 12.15, 12.30, made the low. Anyways, the short in this was the original entry and then an ad, which sometimes I will call out an ad, meaning you can take more. Sometimes the stop's lowered, sometimes the stop's the same, but it's a confirmation that the move is gonna go, so then you can get heavier in the size. Entry was 36.60, stop 36.90, share quantity 7,000. This is in the initial position. Add then 36.54, 7,000 shares. Total shares will be 14,000. And then the price then, again, this is something that you don't, you can't do this all the time, people, but I'm just telling you that you, where you would add, and the price then would be pulled down. Okay, and if you double your position, then it's pulled down. But you know, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't do it. But I try to double it when I do the ad. But either way, it pulls it down. But you're getting a confirmation because the stop really was still 36.90. Anyways, this was a nice move. Fell down in here again. Typically looking for a buck or more, and this went even lower. Went even lower, but nice exit on this 35.30 profit, $17,780 in one trade. Now the size in this was big. I'll grant you that. But even if you had half this size, half of a 14,000 share position, even if you had a quarter, okay, of this, still an enormous trade, why? So why was this such a big trade? Because it was an immediate sell-off, you had the confirmation, you had the market with it, proper time of the day, okay, you had the momentum into the gap, the gap rated well, and the stock was small. It's not always that we get something that's a 30 cent stock. So when you look at the size of the move and the stop, so it's the entry, the stop, and the size of the move, and combined, that's how you get such a highly profitable trade. And then with the ad, okay? But again, I, you know, this is something that you would do on my direction in the trading room for the ad, and even the trade. But buying power needed versus cash, people always ask me that because that was a big position. You would have needed 512,000 approximately in buying power to take that position. That's not in cash, but in BP. In a retail account, which is four to one margin, you would have needed 128,000 in cash. In a prop account, you would have needed 51,200 in cash. So this was a big position. But I'm saying to you, if you had half of this, if you had 20, 25 grand in change, you could have taken 7,000 shares and you could have made half of this, you could have made like almost nine grand, 8,000 something. So that's still a huge, huge, huge trade. So either way, whatever you could have afforded to take, this was an amazing call. Again, it's because it was a 30 some cent stock and got it at the right timing. I mean, just everything here worked in my favor. It was just a nice call, okay? 
So how do I determine what to do in the morning or which direction to trade the gap? I have a checklist, it's called the golden gap. And that's what you learn in my system, that's the 26 points. It's the golden gap checklist, you learn it and you do it. I teach my class once a month, people come to me, they, they, they come to me and they say, I wanna learn what you do. And then I teach them in the class and they pay me for my time and the information. But learning from a teacher has value, huge value. And people that don't get that lose in the market. So I know that there's some teachers out there that don't teach people what to do, but you've gotta find someone that resonates with your uh, intuition. You say, well, I think this person knows what they're talking about. Yeah, they make sense. And that's what people would say when they listen to me. And one of the reasons that I'm talking right now on TV is because I, I, I mean, the things that I say make sense. Every single thing that I've said so far about any stock of the market since I've been on national television has been correct. And that's pretty phenomenal because it's been going back now 17, 18 months I've been on. So I'm telling you, when you decide and come to learn from someone, you gotta learn from someone that knows what they're talking about. I do. Not everybody does, but just because not everybody does doesn't mean that nobody does. So I get it that people don't understand the value of education, but you're gonna lose in the market in 2019 if you don't have a proper education or somebody that you follow that knows what the heck they're doing. Because 2019 is gonna be an insane year of volatility in the market. I mean, this is just the beginning of what we're seeing here now. But if you know how to make money, just like this AMAT, perfect example of how you can capture it right at the perfect time and get it and make a crap load of money. Anyways, let's go back to this here. How much money do you need to trade the golden gap? For a retail account, 25,000 minimum to actively day trade daily. And for a prop account, 2,500 minimum to actively day trade daily. You gotta choose the type of account that suits your personal needs. If you don't have 25,000, go to a prop place. If you have 25,000 but want more leverage, go to a prop place because they give you 10 to one leverage at a prop place. In retail, you're only gonna get four to one no matter how much cash you have, all right? So you can trade my system with a prop account or a retail account, it's up to you. And if you wanna do options, you just open up an options account and you pay the cost to the option. But this AMAT trade was an equity day trade, just so you know, you would have needed margin to do it. Whether you did a smaller position or either way, it's a cost of the stock with the pit, but it's not cash, it's on margin and people need to understand that. Anyways, you can make a lot of money day trading if you know what to do. I'm very good at what I do. If you'd like to learn my system and what I do, you can take my class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's December 15th and 16th, last class of 2018. Class tuition, $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. So this is gonna be a really good class because we have so much to go over looking at the whole year, going into 2019, and I know people are excited that signed up and ready to do it to prep for the calendar year next year coming up and see what the next year brings. If you'd like to do the trends course and the Golden Gap course, you can pay one price, $64.99 for both. Classes online, again, could be anywhere in the world and take it. Don't miss this last class of the year to prepare yourself for 2019. It's gonna be a wild year for the market. What does that mean? It means if you lost money this year trading, you're gonna lose more in 2019 if you don't learn what to do. And if you made money in 2018 trading, you're gonna lose in 2019 if you don't know what to do. Because the market, uh, the way the market is setting up is gonna be very strange and odd for people. And normal things that worked in the past aren't gonna work for people like buying support and short and resistance. And the last couple of uh, weeks have shown that. What I do when I'm looking at a gap, and I'm just gonna go back there really quickly. When I am looking at AMAT, so it has nothing to do with the market, nothing to do at all, or, or it could be anything. I'm just using this as an example. I'm rating the gap for my 26 point system. So it is this stock, it's stock specific on the gap specific. It has nothing to do with the overall market. Many, many days though, people that day trade need the market to get the direction right to get the move in the stock or even particularly even if they're scalping. It's gonna be a year where you've gotta get a full on move and momentum and something to get paid and you gotta get in the right direction. And I'm telling you, that means you gotta get with someone that knows what to do. People are gonna lose money in 2019 if they do not get proper education. I can't stress that enough. And I hate to see people do that to themselves, but they do. They just do. So you gotta be smart. That's the best advice I can give you people. Be smart, make wise choices with your trades. Make wise choices and take a course before you risk any money in the market at all. Again, if you'd like more information, if you wanna sign up for the last class of the year, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.